My living room utopia is somewhere that I feel warm and safe, somewhere that smells like scented candles and loads of pictures and paintings on the walls with beautiful ceramics surrounding us. This collection was made during the pandemic. I wanted to make people smile in their living rooms when we were all stuck there. I call this collection a living room utopia. It's a, a sense of escape where people can be like, wow, this is otherworldly, but beautiful and happy. A lot of these shapes was really based on 60s furniture designs, but it's with a Celine Kwan twist like an inflatable chair. I turned it upside down and made it into a dress where it inflates. There's a sense of drama there. Beauty and functionality is definitely interlinked. I want to bring that sense of functionality in the practical sense, but also in that dramatic sense. So, oh, why can't a dress be a chair? As a 2022 designer, it's really important for me to push the material progression and push sustainability. There's a lot of experimentation. You can actually 3D print onto the fabric itself, and it creates this new type of sequin or interesting textiles where you can shift the density of a fabric. There's endless possibilities. I want to design for a woman that wants to experiment with color and wants to feel confident and bold. Even though they're not comfortable, I want them to feel like, oh, I can do this with a Celine Kwan garment. The purpose of fashion is definitely a sense of freedom and a way for self-expression. It's a really powerful thing because I think people can transform into another person according to what they wear. I'm proudly saying that I'm a Hong Kong designer. Some silhouettes that I pick is very paying homage to my Asian heritage. Silhouettes from my mom and what she wears and what she likes. That kind of traditional aspect that Hong Kong has, I celebrate it in my own unexpected way.